of this haircut wearing dude right here. Yeah, that's right, my long hair is gone. About time that I get uh, looking a little bit more adult now. I don't know. Just felt it was time for a haircut. Uh, I apologize if the audio sucks on this video. Uh, as you all all know, we're in the process of moving and I can't find my microphone. Uh, I usually use like a boom microphone here on my camera and I'm pretty sure it's uh, packed away in a box somewhere, but uh, oh well, we'll make do, right? <clears throat> uh, so yeah, my consistency with videos has been really off. The last video I had was shot like well over a month ago, but I never got around to editing it. So hopefully when we get to the new place, uh, everything will start to settle down and I can get back into a routine of posting shave videos. Uh, that being said, this is my last video to shoot at our old place. So uh, every video going forward, unless I break back into this apartment and uh, commandeer their bathroom, this will be the last time that I shoot a video in this bathroom. Let's go ahead and get on with what I'm shaving with today. Very excited uh, with the soap today that I'm trying is Plunder. This is a sample that I got from Maggers Razors. Uh, and it's Noble Otter. I love Noble Otter products. I've used quite a bit of them. And of course, Plunder is kind of bay rum, kind of piratey. Arr, tis be a good soap. At least it smells pretty good. I haven't used it yet. That's my pathetic attempt at um, Pirate Boys. Uh, but yeah, I know one of the kind of sellers with this is they say that it has a hint of cannon smoke. I don't really... I don't know, maybe once I get it kind of whipped up that I'll smell it a bit more, but obviously it's just a smoke scent that's kind of been added to it, but I'm excited to try this soap for the first time. The other new product that I'm using, oh, there's one other, uh, Silver Star Blades. Anyone use these? I believe they're made by Lord. Uh, I was shockingly surprised at how good of a shave I can get with these blades. Uh, I'll be using that Silver Star Blade today in my Mercure 1904 haven't done a video with this in a while. This was my first, you've heard me say it before, this is my first um, double edge razor that I picked up years ago on West Coast Shaving. I'll be using my Timeless uh, Bowl, uh, the black one. I've got a blue one and a black one. I'll be using the black one today. Um, I'll have to get some extra shots of it. I've got my brush already soaking in my Texas mug. Since this is a Texas soap, I really got to feature that but it's my uh, mixed, it's the teeny tiny travel um, mixed Omega Boar and Badger. Haven't used this brush for a video in a while, so I thought that I would do that. Little tiny travel brush. And to top everything off, I've got a sample again. This is from Todd over at Take Care Man. He sent me so much stuff, it's great. This is the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements um, bay rum, and I don't know, I know there's like 20 uh, PAA bay rum. It just said bay rum on the sample, so I don't know if it's atomic bay rum or if it's just bay rum, I don't know, but uh, it, it should pair well with the Noble Otter. Uh, that's all I got there. My Normally I plug in my camera and I use AC power, but I have to have batteries because I've already moved the AC adapter, so hopefully my batteries don't die. Hopefully the audio doesn't suck. Let's switch over to the uh, the lathering video. All right, already have a little bit of this plunder soap down in my bowl here. Um, I'll start to do the lather. I'm at kind of a weird angle, so hopefully everything works out. Normally I switch to a tripod versus a monopod, but again, <laughs> my tripod is <clears throat> over at the new house. And hopefully the microphone on the front of the camera picks up my audio. Okay, this video might suck, but again, I wanted to get one more in before we move to the new place. The scent on this is really nice. It's again, it's a kind of a bay rum. Uh, still not really picking up on that cannon smoke, but it's a nice kind of medium scent, not overpowering. I know um, over at Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, they're all big on not overdoing the clove on uh, bay rum and I would kind of say that's not the case here either if there is clove it's a pretty it's light on the clove clove reminds me of Christmas like drinks that have clove and foods that have clove uh, but yeah so 
So this is doing very well. Again, I'm uh, quite versed with uh, using Noble Otter products. They always perform very, very well. I just saw online, actually, that uh, I follow Noble Otter on Facebook or Instagram or something. They're moving to a new location, still in the Houston, Texas area, but they're opening a little shop, looks like. So they probably had the address, I don't know, but it just said, hey, if you're in the Houston area, stop by and see us. So that's kind of cool. I know lots of us like to actually go into a brick and mortar building and check out different products. Well, that was very quick. That did very well. I like it. Let's go ahead and move up to the face. Okay, welcome back. Again, you saw how well that lathered up, so let's go ahead and uh, get it out of the bowl here. I've got it still sitting here nicely, and let's get it on my face and start the shave. As excited as we are to move to the new house, you know, I've got a lot of great memories here. And I'm going to be a little sad, honestly, to say goodbye to this apartment. We've only lived here three and a half years. Uh, but this is the place that we brought both of our daughters home to from the hospital. Um... We had a roommate living with us for a while, and that, that was interesting. She was she was great. She kept us entertained. She was kind of our kid before we had kids. Um, wow, this is a really good scent. Um, very bay rum. Kind of a sweet bay rum. Yeah. And you've seen me use this brush. I love this little brush. This is the house that we quarantined in <laughs> for uh, a year. I mean, we actually had one stint where we didn't leave the house for two weeks. We thought we had been exposed to COVID-19, so we stayed home and either we didn't have it or we were asymptomatic. I don't know which. Uh, but yeah, this house, a lot of memories are just kind of <laughs> hanging out indoors, at least our recent memories. But on to bigger and better things. I met my uh, neighbor across the street yesterday. He seems like a nice dude. Been moving stuff. Actually, when I finish up today's shave, uh, this will be a big move day. So once I'm done shaving, it's like start taking truckloads over there. It's only like a 10 minute drive, so I found it too bad. All of this. Got to box all of that up and take it over. I've already taken quite a bit of my shaving stuff over to the new house. Uh, some brushes, most of my razors. It's nice to have this haircut because my hair was getting so long, it was getting uh, full of soap lather. Much more manageable like this.
It's funny, the weird stuff that scents remind us of. My very first job in high school, I worked at the mall. And I worked at this little shop that sold like knickknacks and whatnot. And uh, for some reason, they, it, was, it was like a nature store. We sold nature stuff. Um, hematite rings and geodes and telescopes and stuff like that. For some reason, this scent reminds me of that store. Who knows? I think we burned a lot of incense at that store, so. Maybe, well, and that would maybe explain the smoke smell that's on the profile of this soap. Our boss, my boss, like nicest guy in the world, uh, he was Jewish, so he didn't celebrate Christmas. But a lot of the employees, you know, weren't Jewish, so he still had a Christmas party for us out at his house. He put up a Christmas tree and everything. But since it was retail and we were always busy around Christmas, he had the Christmas party in May. And I'm not gonna lie, it's uh, it's now mid-April, and I, I've driven around some town, and I still see people's Christmas trees up. Not judging, but seems a little odd. Whatever, do your thing. We we kept ours up till almost mid-February, and I thought, oh my God, if people saw us with our Christmas tree up in February, they'd think we're crazy. I don't know. <laughs> Do your thing. My grandmother, my mom's mother, always talked about she wanted to, to keep her Christmas tree up year-round and uh, decorate it for every season. So, you can do that, I guess. This house we're moving to technically has four bathrooms. It has a uh, two bathrooms with a shower and sink commode. A half bath with just a commode and a sink. And then down in the basement, there is a commode, which is actually really common. I mean, you've got the sewer line running through the basement anyways. Might as well tap into it and put one extra commode. It's weird because it's kind of just out in the middle of a room. But I've thought about turning that into like a shaving man cave. We'll see. Excited to see where I do start shooting shaving videos at the new house. One of those bathrooms is out of the question because the mirror is too low. I'm six foot four. And I stood in front of that mirror and I couldn't see the top of my head. I couldn't see my eyes even. So unless I just want to like stoop over the whole time, you know? <laughs> Won't be shooting my videos there. I mean, I guess I could put in a new mirror, but... And it's funny because my wife is only five foot one. So we're kind of an odd couple. I am quite tall. She is very short.
This Ranger's getting a little slick. It doesn't have any knurling on the handle. If you get any soap on the handle, it tends to get a little slick, but I'll manage. This is my fifth soap by Noble Otter, I believe. And I just saw online that they are coming back at their a new batch of Northern Elixir and Orbit. Both of which are very popular scents of theirs. I've never tried it. I think they're both mentholated and I'm not a big mentholated guy. But I saw several people are excited for Northern Elixir and Orbit. Making a comeback. Yeah, there we go. Good enough for the girls I go with. Alright. A few days ago I did a cold shave, not on camera. It was pretty warm here, like in the 80s, which is... Not warm by any means for some people, but here it is. Just didn't enjoy it. It wasn't horrible. I'm just gonna stick to warm shave. Even if it's hot. I've got a nice bunch of water on me. Alright, and this, like I said, is the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Bay Rum aftershave sample. Get that little thingy off. I never know what to do. There. Oh yeah. That is a nice bay rum scent. Almost kind of citrusy. I like it. Very smooth. A little bit of a burn, but a nice, nice burn. Cap that real quick. Yeah. I do want to someday pick up another good Bay Rum. PAA might be my choice. I don't know. Okay. Well, thanks everybody. Thanks for joining me at this house for all of my shave videos. I look forward to the new house and shave videos there. I hope everyone has uh, some good shaves in the days and weeks and months to come. I don't know when I'll see you next, but I will see you soon. Take care.